Greetings and salutations, dear viewers, and welcome to Let's Play Princess Remedy in a World of Hurt. Y'all remember Daniel Ramar? Guy made Hero, Hyper Princess Pitch. I started doing a bunch of his games about a year ago now, and due to one circumstance or another, another never got around to finishing going through all of them. So let's take a look back at that again. Princess Remedy, in a world of hurt, was Ludosity, which is the company that Daniel Ramar works for. It was one of Ludosity's entries in the Games Against Ebola charity Game Jam, and the game was made in four days. Um, I believe a total of four people worked on this game. We have... Let's see here, Anton made the graphics, Matthias and Stefan made the music, and then Daniel Ramar did everything else. So without further ado, let's take a look into Princess Remedy in a World of Hurt. I already played the game through on normal. There are two difficulties harder, and I feel like I could do hard, I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just have a good old time on normal. By the end of the game, it gets kind of hard anyway. So Princess Remedy is the Princess of Saturn. And you were going to healing school, learning how to heal people. Portland sounds like a real swell place. And we're off! So our goal now is going to be going down to Hurtland, building our power, and eventually moving on to save Prince Hingst. Man, stats. Look at them stats. Look at that running. And there is really only, other than the arrow keys, one button in this game, and it does pretty much everything. Heck yeah, look at all these buttons. Can I go down here? I want to go down here. So I'm not exactly sure what I would say this game is visually styled after. I want to say the Atari, but I'd probably be closer, ba or I'd probably be closer to, more appropriate to say it's based on, um, crap, can't remember the name of the game. Whatever system La Mulana was originally based on. But regardless, let's go save everybody from pain. Saving people from pain. We got a band-aid on our head. So this is hurt land. You can look around, you can see all the see all the hurt. So we have five hearts, you need ten hearts to go past there. Most of the barriers you're going to see in the game are based on hearts. So you can talk to people. It looks pretty bad. I'm going to be honest, it looks kind of bad. Just people laying around, being in pain. You don't look so bad. Man, secret passages. Oh yeah, I see you back here. I'm pretty sure the hearts are... For one, I think they actually increase how, increase how much health you have, but they also... in a flask. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but they also serve as the main gateway. I mean, got another heart. Alright, you know, I'm gonna be back to this place in a second. Because there's a tree up here. 
Heck yeah, regeneration power, and this is a secret passage if I ever saw one. More hearts. I just feel like it's a good idea to explore everything that you can do within the heart limit that you have before you start doing actual combat, which let me show you how you heal people. You just talk to them, and then you heal them. We did it! So the flasks, um, you naturally auto-attack. So without pressing any buttons, you're shooting all the time. The flasks are the bomb that you kind of chuck overhead and it explodes. You have a limited number of those flasks per battle, but you get them all back at the end of the battle. Oh no, glass shards. Living. Living in the grass. Um, in battle, you are not restricted to the grid like you are on the overworld. You have complete free range of movement. Was there anybody in here? Nope. You don't look so hot. These things don't even move, so yeah, that was... that was rough. I feel like you did that to yourself. Oh, you don't look so hot. Oh dear. That's about what it feels like after you get through with one of these. I'm just gonna take them out because they're there. No, come back. I want to shoot you a little. I'm gonna shoot you with my band-aid and make you better. Now the thing about game jams is, for one, you can say like, yeah, the game was made in, like look how much they did in this amount of time. But yeah, they did a lot in that amount of time, but they're working almost 24 seven during that time, like uh, legitimately not sleeping during that time. And by the end of it, you're so exhausted that you rest for, like, the next f week or so. You just can't bring yourself to keep working after that. So, like, yeah, you get that done in four days. Only if you worked reasonable hours, it'd take you, like, a week or two. Oh, wow, death. This guy's, this guy's got a rough. Oh, dear. No, get away. Now I'm out of flasks. I healed you from death! Well, we all have our reasons. Okay, so the fire. Um, the spike ball guys just slowly move at you. The fireballs will shoot directly at you, but they don't actually move. The spike ball guys are pretty irritating, so if you can take them out first, go for it. Um, that's also where tossing the flask gets a little strategic, because you gotta figure out the best thing to use it on, because you only have so many. And hey! Got more than enough hearts now. Got 14! Shots multiplied. So now every time you shoot, you will shoot out more bullets instead of just the two. So let's take a look around. See how these people got it. That looks... I mean, I guess it's not so bad here. I mean, things are a little beat up. There's some happy people, too. I thought it'd be super cool if you could heal this, like, broken pillar. Sadly, you cannot. So as usual, let's grab everything we can. Sneak my way back in here. See the little uh, break in the wall there to give you the hint. And they told you in the first town that, like, yes, there are hidden passages. So keep your eyes open. Oh, that's actually it. And um, we got the eastern key, which lets us break that. And this is the warp room. This is your fast travel throughout the game. 
and a free heart. Just for being great. And we actually have enough hearts to go through there, but let's clear out this area first. I honestly have no idea which one you are. But I'm gonna take care of that spike ball guy and the flame, because these glass shards really aren't anything too great. Heck yeah. Um, you're Romeo. But I've gotta kill some things for you to understand that. It is so nice when they group up. It does! That's a fair question. How do you know that? I've already been in there. So we got a little puddle of goo up here. And a little puddle of goo over here. And unless there's somebody in this building, which there is... Oh, he doesn't have any... He's not actually sick. Hmm. Heck yeah! Man, look how happy that guy was. Oh, I don't know what this guy's problem is. I'm out of flasks. The flasks can't do not hit right in front of you since you kind of chuck them a distance. So even if you've got a big group of guys fut chasing you, you can't just turn around and blow them up. Hooray! Well, I think we've made everybody in this little area happy. So onwards we go! And you notice we have more hearts, because usually you get a heart. In fact, I think always you get a heart whenever you heal somebody. We have enough hearts, but let's see what's in here first. This place is looking a little more unpleasant. Ooh, shot power increase. Now we can do more damage. They try to give you hints as to how to get to these. Didn't really... Didn't see anything in that one especially. What about you? That's something. Heart increase. I always forget I can run. I don't know, I just kind of like... I like the casual walk. We're not in a rush. Flask capacity! Okay, so let's take a look outside. That's rough. Oh no! Okay, so fire is still bad. Bats, not so bad. They don't shoot or anything. They just kind of bum around. And you notice because our damage is up... Well, I'm glad. Now that our damage is up, our pills actually look different. They're pills, and not band-aids. So that's rad. Uh, what do we got up here? Another zombie guy. Oh no. Well, don't stay in the sun for too long. That can be dangerous. Um, these guys aren't terribly dangerous. Um, they take a couple hits to take out, but they their AI is simply move in a straight line until you hit a wall. Turn right, move in a straight line until you hit a wall. Hooray! Is there somebody in here? Oh, two of you. That's a cool game, man. I want to play that game. What game was it? Um, some barriers, but not all, you can actually destroy with your shots. Such as these, you can with enough.
Well, good for you. you. Gotta tell me which game that was, though. Oh no! Gotta clean them horns. Unless maybe they just kind of get greasy over time. That's sad. I missed entirely. Uh, you are not a one-hit kill in this game, despite that I haven't been hit yet. I try very hard to not be hit by things. Um, you do have a health bar. That's the big bar at the bottom with heart next to it. I'm starting to think some of you guys aren't that bright. Maybe that's just me, though. Okay, so we got everybody there happy. Everybody over here is happy. Nobody inside the house. And nobody inside that house. Whoops. So, uh... Until next time, everybody. We've got a 20-heart gate in our way, and we're going to continue on into... What was that? Western Hurt Land? And try to heal some more people.